If you are experiencing foundation issues, get a free estimate from Ox Foundations. Here's a guy that knows a lot about cold weather and uh, coached in some crazy type uh, <laughs> atmospheres. We, we welcome uh, Eddie Vonador this morning. Coach, good morning to you. Good morning, Jimmy Dale. Thank you for having me. Uh, it's an honor to have you. And, and Coach Vonador has just been named and elected uh, into the Alabama High School Coaches Association Hall of Fame. So way to go. Well, thank you. It's very humbling. Uh, tell me about that honor. Uh this is this is a group of baseball coaches that they started in the mid nineties, mm -hmm. and uh, to try to promote baseball within the state a little bit stronger. And it's a it's a group of your peers, and like I say, this is very very humbling to uh, to realize that uh, they realize what you've done. Yeah. And uh, and of course, look, I tell people every time it's not about me; it's about the great great guys that I got to work with. You Oh, coach, in in the '90s, uh, late '90s, uh, championship uh, state championships in '97 and '98, uh, you you sometimes see a run of kids that yeah. just seem to put it together for yeah. several years, and that was the case there. It really was. This was a group of guys that had been very successful in the little league and in Babe Ruth, and uh, they didn't mind working because we we worked hard. We're gonna let anybody out work us, but uh, they they worked very hard and the camaraderie of, mm -hmm. uh, of that group of, of guys. And uh, uh, for better or worse, they loved what they were doing. We, we had some great practices. We'd laugh and carry on at practices. But, it, you know, get into the game situation, they handled it very well, even though there were games we got behind. Mm -hmm. We got behind. So, but, uh, you know, it's like the first playoff game in that 97 season, we were behind and we needed somebody to step up to play to – to hit for us, and we had that. So it, it was good. Good group of guys. Can't say enough. Uh, now you actually were at Dora. Yes. And and came to Sylacauga. Is that I, right? I was. I was at Dora for eleven years. I got to uh, coach with Don Flippo. He and I coached baseball together. Well, we miss that guy, don't we? We do. Yes, very much. Uh, Don was the head baseball coach, and then for. I worked with him for three years, and he got moved to the to the uh, head football position and hired me as the the head baseball coach. Gave me my first opportunity to be a, a baseball coach, a head baseball coach, and that that was exciting. And uh, but for eleven years at, at Dora, and then Don left, and two years later gave gave me a call, and he says, "I need I need you to come help me and work with me." So I did. We. Good move, a great move for us and our family to come to Sylacauga. And so. then there in the mix, too, is Coach Gibbs. Yes, Coach Gibbs happened to be on the baseball team at Dora. <laughs> uh, I've watched him grow up from a young man to a, to a fine young man, mm -hmm. to a great young man. Uh, love him to death. Can't say enough about him. Uh, he's... He's the reason for a lot of the success we had at Silicaga. You know, Mike and I worked together uh, very well, and uh, he he was the quiet one, and I was probably the loud mm -hmm. one. So, but he he did a wonderful, wonderful job <clears throat> coaching, and I I appreciate what he's done. Of course, there were others too. We we had, you know, you're as good as your assistants. That's what I'm told. Some, I had some very good guys to work with. I had uh, Barry Strickland, Matt Hubbard, Elwin Martin. Mm -hmm. You know, Elwin volunteered <clears throat> with us all those years, never received a, a dime. He loved it. And he loved the game. He loved being around the guys and very, very good influence, mm -hmm. very good influence uh, with these young men. Eddie Vonador, our <clears throat> guest this morning, and uh, was head baseball coach at Sylacaug for how many years? Sylacauga, I was head baseball coach for eight years. Did that Aggie blood get in you quickly? Yeah, per, well, yes. You know, you know the saying, once an Aggie, always an Aggie. You know, you're still an Aggie. Mm -hmm. You know, I can remember when, when Eric, my son, uh, got into coaching, his first coaching spot was at Albert Wall, and they were Aggies. So I said, yeah, you're just trying to stay with the tradition of being an Aggie. So. <laughs> and you were blessed to have your son play for you. Yes, I was. Uh, that You know, you have some great moments in these games mm -hmm. and these opportunities. And 
uh, having the opportunity to win a state championship with your own son, and that's special. That's very, very special. Yeah. Who, who are some of the guys that uh, <clears throat> in the state championship runs that, that that just jump off the page well, to you? you know, I hate to name – I'll name some. The, the thing about you, you've got your Jared Walkers, your Aaron Wasserman, your Matt Emlett, your Clay Mintz, your um, – now, they Drew weren't Manning. superstars at that time, but you know. Well, but, but you got Michael A. there. Yeah. A great community man now and just loves the game and loves being around these young men. Jeff Roberts. Jeff Roberts, just outstanding. Kenneth MacArthur and Aaron Wasserman. There's, there's just so many that, that have worked so hard through their careers as being a young baseball player to being a high school baseball player. And they, they didn't mind. Like I said this already, they didn't mind working. And we were working the stew out of them. We and, and, you know, all of them played a role. Yes, very much so. You know, it's, uh, when you're behind in the game, you need somebody to step up with a strong bat. And uh, that, there were times that we had to have that. You know, I remember the first – Playoff game in that 97 run, uh, we were behind against Centronale, and we needed somebody to step up with a strong back, bat, and Adam Brewer did that for us. He hit a home run, and that basically that was kind of won the game for mm-hmm. us. You know, and you had Bo Johnson. Bo Johnson, when that 97, his bat was so hot that it was, <laughs> it was so exciting to watch him hit the ball. At McAdoo, when we won it, uh, we, sh- we we can I can close my eyes and still see that ball going over the lights and over out of the park and uh, just he he loved that number nine mm-hmm. spot in our batting lineup. We tried to move him the next year and he no I want to be back there and everybody everybody knew their role and was willing to work and do what it took. And it uh, it wasn't just about the home runs it wasn't just about the state championships or the county championships it was being around a group of guys whether yes. you would go to a, a tournament in florida or wherever you may go and just build that togetherness it it was uh, you know mike came to me and i think it was 93 and said let's there's a, a place in florida that has a, a baseball camp so a place you can go and play baseball and it was coco so we worked out the details and started going to Cocoa, Florida, to Cocoa Beach. And um, we'd laugh about it even today. We'd ride on that bus. It was, a, it was a long ride, but we were all together, ride on that bus and go to Cocoa, going to the beach. We didn't go to no <laughs> beach. We didn't go to the beach. And uh, we, <laughs> we went to Ron John's to, to you know, buy souvenirs or whatever and that was as close as we got to the beach but uh, we stayed on the ball fields working and every year every year after that trip to coco and we even got to go one year to orlando in 97 mm-hmm. went to the wide uh, world, walt disney world of sports and uh we were a different team we were a completely different team we were struggling before but when we came back that camaraderie that working together was so great. Um, you know, I can remember in, in 97, we went on a run, a strong run of winning ball games. So we had one loss after that trip to Cocoa, and wow. that was in the playoffs to Shaw. And then in 98, same thing, strong run because of what the work that these guys were able mm-hmm. to do down there. So it was very successful. Uh, those two, two state championship teams in 97 and 98, they weren't gimmies either. It was a tough competition. No, it was some great competition. You know, you were playing Centronelle, Demopolis, um, Shaw High School, and then, of course, McAdory for the state championship. And McAdory was supposed to be the team to beat mm-hmm. that year. They had to – had the one name that stands out is Major Altred, mm-hmm. who went on to play at Alabama. Very strong hitter. Stanhope Elmore. We always felt if we could beat Stanhope. That was a rivalry right there. It, very, it really, really was. Stanhope Elmore, my high school is where I graduated from, and the head 
Coach Hank Frollo and I were very good friends in high school, and we played ball together. Uh, Hank, great, great coach. He's in the Hall of Fame, mm-hmm. this uh, Baseball Hall of Fame. and uh, We always felt like it, when it came down to Stanhope and Sylacauga, whoever won that game, we win the state championship. And it, it was. That's what happened. And some what's great, that, great What was that big guy's name? Matt Ames. Oh, man. Matt Ames, when <laughs> we had baseball day, and Matt's daddy and I went to high school together. So I had knew about Matt. Knew his daddy came strong, great athlete. But Matt knocked some balls out he of the He could crush a baseball. Yes, he could. In fact, he held the state record for home runs hmm. until – we broke that. Yeah. So it's, mm. it's pretty neat. Pretty yeah. special. You get to talk to some of the young guys from yesteryear now? I do. I see some. And they're, they're men now, mm-hmm. have the families, and they're, uh, a lot of them have children that are playing baseball. <laughs> and it's good to see. It's good to see. It's good to see them out coaching their own son, uh, working with them. Uh, I used to. I guess one of the the things I used to always go home and or tell the guys at the end of practice, go home and tell your mama you love her because she's the one that's going to keep throwing with you because daddy's got to work. Mm-hmm. And and that and that's true. Uh, but seeing dads take time with their children is special. Yeah. That's special. I'm excited about that. You know, we we talked about sacrifices in, in this game, and these these guys – will have to sacrifice time, their free time, to work with their son or yeah. their daughter. Yeah. Because there's a lot of these guys that have uh, girls that are playing softball. Great and athletes. Great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Eddie Vonador, uh, Alabama High School Coach Association Hall of Fame. He's been Now, when is the ceremony? It is Friday. Okay. It's this Friday. There's a, uh, at 5 o'clock, there's a press, press time. Is it in Montgomery? You know, it's in uh, at the Marriott. In Inverness, oh, wow. right across from Grandview. Um, You'd be in high cotton over there, man. I, I guess. <laughs> I guess so. But, uh, yeah, there's a press conference at 5. We'll introduce uh, the guys. Uh, one that stands out that's in this class is Harry the Hat Walker. Oh, yeah. Harry the Hat. Uh, and that's humbling to be thought of that, that you are being placed in the Hall of Fame with guys like Harry mm-hmm. the Hat. And, you know, I... The guy that uh, that's already in there, uh, Sammy Dunn. So many state championships at Vestavia, and Sammy and I went to college together, and we we always tried to play Sammy, you know, Vestavia uh, during the year. And but there's so many great names that's in that in the class, in the Hall of Fame already, and it's it's very I'm humbling. I'm sure that there. Many stories down through the year that you could tell, but if you can just draw one or two out over that time period, and it, it may be a funny story, or it may be one of those wow moments of the, how did this happen? Any anything pop to your mind? Oh gosh, Jimmy Dell, my mind's racing right now thinking about that, but I can I can think of you know. I hate to tell one on my son Eric, but. Championship game uh, against McAdoo, Eric went as the closer. And the the thing about that, you put him in a position because you, you've got to have somebody that's going to throw the ball hard and strong and be in control. Well, he was struggling right at first. Well, I walked out, and I was going to pull him. And Kendall McCarthy said, nope, don't. He's okay. So you listen to your Kendall players. Lewis. Catcher? Yeah, Kenan okay. was the catcher. Okay. And, you know, when Kenan says he's okay, <laughs> he's okay. And I can remember when we were playing Bradshaw, state final. Clay Mance was our closer. Well, Clay Mance was playing out in the right field. And the ball hit straight to him. And I apologize, Clay. This embarrasses you. Ball hit straight to him, good fly ball. He one-hands it. Well, when he one-hands it, ball comes out. Mm. Run score. They get ahead. And... uh you know, you, you look, he didn't do it once, he did it twice. So you look and you think, God, am I going to love on him or am I going to chew on him? <laughs> <laughs> so, tell him not to do it again. But Clay comes in and did a wonderful job closing. Uh, 
another story on Clay, and I love him, I love him to death, but I walked out to the mound one time, and, and this was in the playoffs, and I said, Clay, how you feeling? You ready? He said, yeah, I'm fine. I said, I'm ready for some growth. <laughs> so we, we laugh about that. We laugh about that. And I guess he, he can close it out if he, he wants some groceries, right? Yeah, he was ready for some groceries. <laughs> One last story, and I, they, like I say, there's so many. My mind oh, started yeah. racing. As a young 10th grader, John Crew, pitcher, you walked to him, and we, we were kind of running out of pitchers. This is against Shaw in Mobile. And if we win this game, we're going to the finals. Mm-hmm. And you hand the ball to him, and he looks at me and says, I ain't got a chance. And you know what? He was That's right. confidence. That's <laughs> confidence. That's the type of guys yeah. we had. Yeah. Now, That's some of these guys that you mentioned uh, played at the next level and the next they level. They did. They did. Uh, I was very fortunate. Out of the guys that I've coached, you had Robert Averett that mm-hmm. went on and played in the pros, uh, Kenny McCarthy and Aaron Wasserman. Uh, those 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 guys went on and played mm-hmm. in, in the major leagues, and that's a dream come it true. It is. That's a dream. Now, Eric was a side armor, wasn't he? Yes, he. But he learned that in college. Okay. That, yeah, he he did that. He developed that in college. Yeah. Well. But then you've got other guys that are in the coaching profession now that you coach. You know, I, I think of Bobby Cummins. Bobby played for us. He he's coaching over at Helena. Mm-hmm. Jared Walker's coaching at Brightwood. Adam Brewer's coaching in Shelby County. My Makes son, you feel good, doesn't it? It does. My son Eric's at Fort Payne. It, it's 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 you hope you hope you've mm-hmm. instilled in them a little bit about the game of baseball. Do you but get these, tossed? Yes, I I have. That wasn't in my notes. I just no, no thanks, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I uh, this was before you got fined. Okay. This was before you got before you got fined, and yeah, there were there were times that I get did get ejected from the ball game, and there was uh, times it needed to happen. I was about to say, were you ever wrong? You know? Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> probably so. I we were playing Chillsburg, and it was a tight, close ball game. Chillsburg was ahead, and the home plate umpire was a great guy, mm-hmm. and he but he. Struggled a little bit, so I kind of said, well, it's time. So mm-hmm. I had some words with him. And he finally looked at him and said, Coach V, if you keep on, I'm going to have to throw you out of here, toss you out of here. And he says, I've been waiting on that. <laughs> and so that was, but that was one of those times it was good. Yeah. It was good. And uh, so I was tossed, but we ended up coming back and winning. You're talking about some game. great games, Sulacaga, Childersburg. Yes, very much so. When I – some cold late night yeah. games too, but yeah. Chillsburg, great, great program. So it's uh, we congratulate you know, and, and uh, on a fantastic career at Sylacauga High School and being uh, nominated and named uh, as uh, uh, into the Hall of Fame, Alabama High School Coach Association Hall of Fame, which will take place on Friday. And uh, you're very, very deserving. We thank you, well, thank uh, you for your that. service to our community, and uh, not only. Uh, is Coach V uh, been a part of our community? He has kind of stretched his boundaries a little mm-hmm. bit, and and you and Kathy are doing some mission work, aren't you? Yes, we are. We we have fallen in love with a group of people in Guatemala. Uh, you know, Kathy and I. Kathy's always been the very strong missions mm-hmm. person, and uh, I'm blessed in that part to have a family that loves loves the Lord. They love, and they don't mind sharing, don't mm-hmm. mind giving their hearts, uh, telling their hearts about it. Uh, so we we went to Guatemala one time and fell in love with the people, and we've been back, been back. Uh, we go on uh, evangelism trips, we go on mission trips, we work in the orphanage, and, and we've gone there. My son-in-law, Eric, and I got to go to Uganda, worked in an orphanage. Very humbling, very humbling. We got to go to Trinidad this year to work for vacation. What strikes Bible. you about going to those places like that? Uh, the people, the people, they want to be loved on. They want to be talked to. They want someone to to share with them and tell them, say, mm-hmm. look, it's okay. There's someone that loves you more than I could ever love you. And that's what they want to hear. That's what, And they, they're open to it. Mm-hmm. They're open to it. 
Um, and that's what's so neat. That's what's so yeah. special. Got to do a baseball camp in, in Guatemala, watch that child hold that baseball for the first time and throw it, Goodness. and they laugh and carry on. You know, those are those are memories that I'll mm-hmm. cherish for, all, yeah. for the rest of my life. Yeah. So You uh, want to continue doing that? I do. I do. I, I love it. Uh, you know, people laugh at me now when I start, because I start talking about Guatemala, I get so excited. They say, well, when are you going back? I if I could go back, I'd go back tomorrow. You know, if I go uh, today, I hope the plane's ready for me to go. And, uh, you know, th- we partner with a group in Dothan, and they have a great saying that says, if you want to know, you got to go. And I, I agree with that. Mm-hmm. If you truly, truly want to know about the people and how God can mm-hmm. use you, you need to go. Obviously, your faith's very important to you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> it is. Uh, all of this, through all of this, I'm humbled. <laughs> but my goal is that when I touch that plate for the last time, that home plate where I'm sliding, I'm stumbling, falling, or whatever, I just want to hear, well done. Yeah. Well done. That's, that's my goal in life. And, you know, I think about, did I share this enough with my players? Did I let them know? Yeah. I told them I loved them, but I, did I let them know enough yeah. how, how great they're yeah. loved? Yeah. Well, you're, so. you're, during that time, you're building relationships, not just for them, but for a lifetime. Yeah. And obviously, you did a yeah. fantastic job, and uh, we, we thank you for coming this morning, and uh, very, very much deserving. Those of you who uh, live outside our local area that are watching on Charter statewide, uh, Eddie Vonador, one of the most well thought of individuals and in his family in this community. And uh, he will be honored on Friday, uh, elected into the Alabama High School Coaches Association Hall of Fame. Man, that sounds good. Eddie, thanks for coming this Thank morning. Thank you, Jimmy. Lord bless Dale. you. Appreciate you. We've got more Daybreak coming up right after this.